Hello there and welcome to another great video game ideas not used podcast, GVGINU for short. This is GVGINU redo number four. Now, um, I wanted to talk about a possible crossover. I mean, it's not possible as far as I know, but it's possible in my mind of a franchise by Konami and another franchise by Hideyuki Kikuchi, I think uh, I think that's how it's pronounced. Kikuchi. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing pronouncing that right. Um, for the two, for anybody who knows what I am referring to, that is Castlevania and Vampire Hunter D. See, I named the creator of Vampire Hunter D because I figured somebody would catch on to that. But uh, yeah, that to me that would be a really good idea, and. I've talked about this before briefly in an article that was about video game crossovers that I think would be good ideas. I mean, I would love to see a Castlevania D crossover. That would be so very amazing. I mean, Castlevania itself has a very long history as a video game, both in its uh, fictional world as well as in the real world with people who play it. Uh, uh, it's one of the most well-known action-adventure RPG ser- series that has been out on the market. Um, D, on the other hand, is a very, very amazing graphic novel series, Vampire Hunter D, with the lead character, obviously, D. Um, it has had a few video games, um, one that was most apparent to me was the one that was on the PS1 by Jelco. Which was actually, that game was really fun. I've played through and beat that a few times. So, I enjoyed that game a lot. And, I can sit and think about how many ways it would be possible to combine the two series that would make it a really fun amazing experience which would also be very well I mean it could be canon to both series at the same time the best way for this to be done in my mind then I think about it would be either they do exist together or the spell casters of the Castlevania universe are searching for another vessel to resurrect Dracula within. See, in Vampire Hunter D, I'm not even personally sure if Dracula is actually dead in D or if he can come back, but we do know that in Castlevania it is possible. So, um, so I look at it that way and think, yeah, they're searching for another vessel that has powers that are comparable to that of Dracula, or that could be comparable comparable to that of Dracula, and D definitely fits the mold, being his half human son, born to obviously a human woman. <laughs> but uh, Al Alucard is Alucard. Uh, I said Alucard. Alucard is the same. He's Dracula's half human son, which. Is, is pretty awesome. You can think of the two characters together. Though I would suggest that Alucard actually be older than D. Just because of he, the fact that he has a longer standing history. And we can see that from playing Castlevania games. Even back on the NES to... Let's say what DS. Because I'm not sure that there's another Castlevania game out just yet. But I'm hoping that there will be. But um... Back from the days of Nintendo in Castlevania 3 up to the last game that I do remember Alucard being in, Castlevania Aria of Sorrow. Or is it no? That was Dawn of Sorrow. Aria of Sorrow was on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, mixed the two up. Well, no, he's, he's still around. Which is what I've always... When I saw the character Aricard, Aricado in... Aria of Sorrow. I knew exactly who he was without question. I knew that's okay, that's Alucard. The name sounds so similar. 
quite obviously is Alucard in disguise. At least that was how I looked at it. And it was confirmed in Dawn of Sorrow when <laughs> you actually can play with him in the game. But not as his human disguise. I'm, say that. I'm getting sidetracked. But we D has always been, as far as I've seen, in sort of like a futuristic setting. Whereas Alucard comes from back in the olden days of witch hunting to progressing into a futuristic type setting which both the Aria of Sorrow and Dawn of Sorrow games cover which also gets more or less to my point that they're searching for a new vessel for Dracula seeing as the vessel in the Aria and Dawn of Sorrow games Soma Cruz refutes Dracula he refutes becoming Dracula's vessel so that makes it actually a really good thing to me because you think about it this is a perfect explanation where you have Alucard and Soma who is has Dracula's powers but doesn't want to become Dracula and they need another vessel to take place of Soma someone who is enough who would be strong enough to fit it and D is the perfect perfect character for that I mean that would all depend on if Konami could get along with Hideyuki and Hideyuki I keep saying it wrong Hideyuki I know that I was saying Hide wrong <laughs> Hideyuki but they could get the get the licensing and make the games it would be amazing see in the way I look at it they could do like a 2D action RPG adventure game very much like Aria of Sorrow, Dawn of Sorrow, Circle of the Moon <laughs> you know what direction I'm going in. The games that play like Symphony of the Night they could make plenty, they could definitely make a game like that for the 3DS or and PS Vita if they wanted to though it seems to me that Konami is a little bit happier putting their franchise on Nintendo's handheld than they are Sony's, at least from what I've seen. But they could also do a console game that would play not like Lords of Shadow. Lords of Shadow in and of itself is like a different beast as far as a Castlevania game, but I'm, there's the one I'm trying to remember that came out on the Xbox and PS2, and I have the game. But I can't think of the name of it right now. I think it's Curse of Darkness. Castlevania Curse of Darkness. It, I just can't think the na think of the name right this moment. I've played it on both systems too. And that's why I'm sitting here. But if they made it play in a similar style to Curse of Darkness. Which I'm very sure that is the name of it now. When you include D and Soma and... Alucard, it would make for a really good game. Like, you have three totally different, well, I wouldn't say totally different perspectives, but you'd have three possible perspectives to work with, especially if they do it in a futuristic Castlevania setting rather than going back to old time. And I would love to see that, boy, because we know that Alucard has all of Dracula's pretty much his, like, basic abilities, but I mean, he might be a little bit weaker than Dracula is with them but I mean he would also make a good candidate as well but for the marriage of the two universes it would probably be best to try to utilize D a lot and we also know that D has that parasitic thing on his hand I can't remember its name right now which he can use to absorb defeated foes and if I remember correctly he gets stronger by eating them with that parasite on his hand Otherwise, the Parasite would also end up feeding on his life force, which would be a, a great thing to incorporate in the game. It would be an interesting concept to add, like, that he's got to do this, and, like, and he has power similar to that of Alucard and Dracula in the first place. I don't know how he would compare on a level, on how his power would compare to them. I think he would be about the same strength as Alucard. Though I can't say for certain, because that, that would be something that the creators of both series would have to kind of sit down and talk and work out. And then you have Soma who has the 
what is it, the power of dominance, where he can defeat a foe and take on their powers. As long as it's like a monstrous foe, like in Castlevania, as we've seen him do. Like he can take on the abilities of defeated enemies and utilize them in different ways, which is a power that Dracula has that we don't actually see him do in the game. But it's, like I said, it's described as one of his powers and is the reason that Soma was one of the candidates to be used for Dracula's body. But that's, that's my thoughts. I mean, I would love to see it. I mean, I can't say, hey, Konami, Hideyuki, Hideyuki. Oh, gosh, I mean, this person is probably, like, pissed off at me fucking their name up. Put these series together. Make this game. I mean, it would be awesome if I could get them to sit down and listen to me like that, but I know I can't. Which is why I do this. It's just, I, I want people to hear it. I mean, heck, if it does actually get to any of them, I would be a... I would be amazed. I would be happy, but I would be very much amazed if it did happen. But that's basically my whole point. It's just like, this is a, g a great, awesome, amazing idea that they... I mean, I don't know if they've attempted it or not. I don't know where they might be standing on that, but it's just something that I know from my standpoint as a Castlevania fan, I would love to see that. It would be like... <laughs> Hmm. I can't really say what how I feel about the the idea of marrying those two series for like maybe two or three games because like, like it would be a waste to do one game because it's like I would look at it like where there would be there would be so much more that they could do if it was like as far as story and things like that. I mean, and even if they could do it like even if they didn't do it i mean there's also you could have part of the game be in like i said the castlevania universe and then another part of it be in d's universe which would be really it would be really unique and i would love to see how the abilities of the castlevania characters would cross over to d's universe and and vice versa because it would just make sense to do something like that. At least to me, it would make sense to do that. I mean, why not? What would be a holdup, honestly? There are so many things that they could do with it that it wouldn't make sense to not at least attempt it. So that's, that's pretty much how I feel about it. I would love to see it and see like a 2D, like I said, a 2D game, a 2D adventure game as well as a three-dimensional one be done. I, mean, I don't know I don't think it would be a good idea to do an exclusive uh, ah, exclusive ah. no I don't think it would be a good idea to make exclusive contracts I don't know why I couldn't say exclusivity ah, I'm saying it wrong and I know I am <laughs> uh, I don't think it would be a good idea for those for a crossover game of that magnitude to be exclusively put on one console but or at least one company's consoles. But it would be a good idea to actually make that. And I'm definitely a person who was for it and would stand behind Nintendo on it. Not, huh? I mean, Konami. I said Nintendo. Oh, horrible. <laughs> but that's pretty much it. So I want to say thank you for listening. And hopefully you can agree on this idea. If you don't, not a big deal. But it's just my thought. Anyway, keep an eye out and an ear out for more of my stuff. And until